Hey YouTube, Wheelchair21, and this is a Doyle's DVDs, and it is Voltron Collection 1, the Blue Lion set. Voltron Collection 1 follows Voltron Defender, Voltron Defenders of the Galaxy, the original 1980s series, based off of the earlier 1970s series from Japan, Go Lion. Voltron Defender of the Universe Collection 1 has the first 13 to 15 episodes, uh, which is pretty much everything from episode 1 to 15, which is... Space Explorers Captured to uh, Give Me Your Princess. All 15 of these episodes, I'm at least rounding it down to 15 because it's been a while since I actually looked at the episode guide that comes with the disc set, comes with this nice tin case, which has inside a another case having Alora and Sven on the cover with the Blue Lion. Um, the case was released back in 06 or 07. And, as I said, it is Voltron Defender of the Universe, which follows the five Space Explorers, Keith, Pidge, Hunk, Lance, Sven, going to uh, Alora's planet, which, for some reason, is popping out of my mind right now. I don't know why. Which is under attack by the Jewel Empire, led by King Zarkon, and uh, at his side, Witch Hagar, and, uh, not Kazak, because Kazak's later in the series, um... Pink slip, pink slip, pink... Yurak. Had to go and check. Had to go read it. And his son, Prince Lothor, who appears at the very end of the series, or in Collection 2, which is Yellow Line. Uh, the first five episodes are the five space explorers from Galaxy Garrison get captured by Lokor, turned into his, like, you know, gladiator slaves, and they escape, get to Allure's planet, try to discover the secrets of Voltron for the Galaxy Garrison to help them defend their planet against the Jewel Empire that is only known at right now to be Lotor and his... Planet of Doom. Uh, they get the Voltron lines, and within the first five episodes, learn how to form Voltron, but then they start finding out its weaknesses and how it works, that you need all five lines, you need the keys to pilot them, and they start sending these giant monster-like robies and machines to attack the planet. So it's pretty much the very first Tokusatsu Super Robot series, where you have a bunch of people that are like Power Rangers fighting with giant mechas and defeating giant monsters. With the five heroes, they eventually lose Sven in an attack by Hagar, which then they get replaced Sven for by Alora. where in the Japanese original, Sven dies. In the American one, he is rushed off to a hospital back on Earth, but is later to be revealed that he was captured by Lotor, which is really its his twin brother in Japan. Um... So as they get the princess, the princess's, um, what would you say, advisory counselor, Karan, would not let her become the Blue Lion pilot along with her, um, you know, um, home nanny, her, not her gr grandmother, but her caretaker, and they keep trying to prevent her from becoming the pilot, and pretty much the first 15 episodes are establishing our, mi our first five pilots and Allura becoming a defender to her planet. Uh, the special features on this set are, um, like, the look back at how Voltron became very popular, and a short documentary on its popularity, and the first release of Volume 1, of how the fans respond to it. Um, other things were toy commercials and several other things. As each of the special sets go on, there are more special features documenting the history of Voltron and the sequels to Voltron. Uh, ironically, if this was made near Voltron Force, we would have probably gotten some Voltron Force special features and some other things that would come with these instead of just documentaries and, uh, like, lookbacks at, like, all the news footage that, when it became popular, like Power Rangers back in the day, and, like, the Make-A-Wish Foundation things that, uh, World, Enter World Event Productions did with, uh, Voltron stuff for kids of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Uh, it's really cool, it's really great documentary, great episodes. Um, just, if you're not a fan of Voltron, it will take you some time to get into it, but if you're an original fan, it's easy to go through. The first five episodes are an easy four, four star when you want to put all five together of story development, and then the next five episodes are another good four stars out of five of story development. But then from the rest, it's one of those drag-on series where you got to be a real fan to stick with it. Uh, but anyways, the collector's tin, the features and stuff, it's its a good reason. If you're any one of Voltron, you can go buy it. If you want the special features, I recommend you buying it. 
Uh, but you can just catch this on Netflix because it's all up, all five volumes, plus the uh, Vehicle Force Voltron. So, yeah, just look it up on Netflix. It's streamable. It's easy to go through. Each episode is about 20 minutes long. Uh, you can just fast forward through the credits. You can fast forward through Peter Cullen's inter- uh, intro. Yeah, Peter Cullen's in this. A lot of the guys from Transformers are in this, so you'll enjoy it. It's great. You'll just enjoy freaking Voltron kicking ass, taking names. And one huge, huge action-packed series. Um, that's why it's easy to review Voltron. You only have to cover that in the first volume. It's pretty much one whole arc just explaining how Voltron comes to be. And great documentaries and great trailers for the other volumes that are set to come out. So this has been Doyle's DVDs. I'm your host, Wheelchair21, and I'll see you later, YouTube. Bye.